I'm Jonathan Downey, founder and CEO of Airware. At Airware, we're building an operating system for commercial drones, powering drones for a variety of enterprise applications like industrial mapping and inspections, agriculture. My, my two big passions are engineering and, and aviation. I'm a, I'm a pilot and so are my parents and my uncles and my grandparents. Uh, my parents actually met because my dad was my mom's flight instructor and I, I had been flying for a while but also went to school for engineering and so getting involved in the drone space pretty early on was a really logical combination of these two things and it's been phenomenal for me that I could turn that into a, a really growing business now. I remember at one point thinking that in some distant future there may be as many as 10 people um, at Airware and I I think that was, that was kind of the extent that I could imagine this company's growth. And today, you know, we're, we're nearly 80 people. Uh, and we've grown from five to uh, uh, about 80 people uh, just in two and a half years. So it's been... At Airware, we're building a platform for drones because we believe that drones are going to ultimately address so many different applications across a variety of different industries that the platform approach was really the right one. We're doing hardware development, firmware, software, user interface design, a cloud front end, a cloud back end, and so it's an incredibly diverse group of people at the company and a really deep and broad technology stack. Drones are going to be tools used in virtually every industry to collect data that today may be collected by people on the ground, um, but is going to be done in, in a, a much faster, more efficient way from the air, getting people better data more quickly, more reliably, getting people out of harm's way. And I think it's going to lead to what may potentially be the largest data set ever collected. I think the inspection of cell phone towers using drones is a really interesting application. Uh, climbing up on towers using ropes and harnesses was declared one of the most dangerous jobs in America by OSHA with 14 people dying doing those inspections in 2013. Um, and from an economic standpoint, inspectors using a drone instead of ropes and ladders or scissor lifts can inspect about six times as many um, cell phone antennas uh, as they can uh, using the drones as without using them. I think in five years, drones are going to be a part of our everyday lives and how people are doing their jobs. And in 10 years, we won't even be able to imagine doing our jobs without them. The contrast is going to be as stark as paper maps versus GPS. I would advise young entrepreneurs to join a startup or two at different stages and kind of inflection points of growth. You know, join a startup going from 50 to 100, join a startup growing from 5 to 50, uh, and see you know, what breaks down, how do they develop the technology, how do they recruit, how do they build a team um, before going and trying to do it yourself. Because there's all kinds of challenges and mistakes you're going to make along the way, and better to make a few mistakes on someone else's dime than on your own uh, and learn from it. Um, for me, I, I got some of that experience. Uh, first, when I was at MIT, I started a student group, which isn't a startup per se, but we ended up doing a lot of the same things, including recruiting and building a team and, and getting financial support. Um, and later, I joined a, a small company that my uncle had started, uh, where I was the only engineer at the company, and we brought a few products to market. 